Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, brief question, just touching back on the medical marijuana use here. Is that, it's my understanding that's generally an individual right, or it deals with the individual. So for example, uh, if a spouse who does not have a medical marijuana uh, prescription, could they then possess firearms in the same household, or how, do, how does that, what's, how's that interplay? Yeah, the, the spouse who does not have the medical marijuana card could possess a firearm, that's correct. So there's no concern with some other someone in the ha uh, other than the individual that actually has the prescription is is the only person that's prohibited from from possessing the firearm. That's correct. Now, is there has there been any determination as to uh, you know when someone stops using their prescription for whatever reason, uh, is, is there some timeline as to when that has to th there has to be a gap when that prescription is not being used or or has that been decided? I'm not aware of that of that even coming up at all. I, I think okay. uh, if a person doesn't have a medical marijuana card, they're they're not a person who uses medical marijuana. Uh, I, I believe they are immediately eligible to possess a firearm at that point. Um, and and one final question. I, I know that uh, Representative Knowles kind of pointed this out, but is there anything from a national level uh, dealing with anyone being charged or or, or prosecuted on? on on uh, the medical marijuana use and, and possessing firearms that you're aware of? I, I'm not aware of anything, and I, I, would, I would frankly be surprised if it were happening. Uh, I think, you know, we just want to make sure the public understands that, that that's what the law says, and, and, you know, it's not a matter of whether or not I agree with it, but it is what the law currently is as how it exists, and I think the people need to understand that. Great. Th thank you, Mr. Arnold. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman.